Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss types of three phase supply and load connections. Okay, so let's get started. In the previous session, we have discussed how to draw the three phase waveform and what is mean by phase sequence. In this session, we are going to discuss what are the types of supply and load for in case of three phase. The three phase supply connections are basically classified as two types. Three phase supply is basically classified as two types. One is star connection and another one is delta connection. One is star connection and one is delta connection. And further, the star is classified into three wire star connection and four wire star connection. The first three phase, three wire star connection is like this where this is each one is winding this is r phase winding this is y phase winding and this is b phase winding these windings are the windings of a generator we use this is these are the windings of three phase generator which used to generate the three phase waveform this is the r phase winding this is y phase winding and this is b phase winding when the when the second terminal or one of the terminal of all the phases of the all the all the phase windings are connected to a common point then that common point is known as neutral point okay this is the neutral point and the other terminals are denoted as r y and b okay these are the r y b and this is neutral this this type of supply connection is known as three phase three wire connection we have these three phases r y b and three wire for the output and it look like a star or y it can be drawn like this or like this also so it is called as three phase three wire star connection now let's see this is three phase four wire star connection here we have the similar connection this r phase winding this y phase winding and this is b phase winding and this is the common point of all the winding where one of the terminal of all winding is made common and which is named at named as neutral point and when this neutral is also taken out with this r y b then it is it is known as three phase four wire star connection three phase four wire star connection we have this four wires r y b and this n four wire star connection then we have another connection type of connection this this is called as three phase three wire delta connection it is the windings are made are connected like this to form a delta or to form a closed path here this is r phase this is y phase and this is b phase the end point of this r phase is connected to the starting point of y winding the end point of y winding is connected to starting point of b winding and the end point of b winding is connected to starting point of r winding in that in that manner these are these windings are connected and we get this three terminals out so it is known as three phase three wire delta connection delta connection these are the different types of three phase supply connection let's see what are the different types of load we have according to the connection according to the connection we have two different types of load like supply we have we have two types of loads one is called a star connection of load and one is called as delta connection of load this will be like this or or like this this is like y or we can draw it like this or this is like delta okay when this z1 z2 z3 are the impedances of each impedances phase impedance of three phase load three phase load we are having three phase load and this represent a impedance of a single phase this is the impedance of one phase this is the second phase and this is the third phase this z1 z2 and z3 and they are connected in star and this is the neutral point and this are the supply lines r y b which is connected to the three phase supply because this is the load when three phase supply is connected to this wires this load will do its work 
so this type of connection is known as star connection of load and when the the impedances are connected like this in a loop then it is called as delta connection of load this is first impedance or this is first this is second and this is third impedance okay and they are connected one after another and these three terminals are brought out for the supply for the supply to connect so this type of connection is known as delta connection of load where z1 z2 z3 are the impedances of three phase load okay now we have further classification the types of load according to the condition of balance condition of balance okay we have these two types of load one is balanced load and another called as unbalanced load the balanced load is the load in which magnitudes phase angles and the nature of all the impedances connected are same this is important the balanced load is the load in which magnitudes phase angles and the nature of all the impedances connected are same that means the magnitude of each impedance z1 z2 mod of z1 mod of z2 mod of z3 are equal and also their phase angle theta 1 is the phase angle of z1 theta 2 is the phase angle of z2 and theta 3 is the phase angle of z3 all are same this is the this is the condition of balance condition of balance if it satisfies then this is known as balanced load balanced three phase load it may be star connected or delta connected if it satisfies this condition this two condition then it is called as balanced load okay balanced star load or balanced delta load now see what is mean by unbalanced load if the load does not satisfy the condition of balance then it is called as unbalanced load suppose this z z1 not equals to z2 not equals to z3 and also theta 1 not equal to theta 2 not equal to theta 3 then in that case the load is known as unbalanced load if it is a star then we call it as a unbalanced star load if it is connected in delta we we will call it as a unbalanced delta load okay suppose we have this z1 equals to z2 equals to z3 but we do not have this theta 1 equals to theta 2 equals to theta 3 that means first condition is satisfied but second condition is not satisfied in that case also in that case also this is called as unbalanced load okay let's see this with example suppose we have this delta connected load okay this is z1 z2 and z3 are the three impedances of three phase delta connected load okay and we have given this value z1 is equal to 3 plus j4 ohm z2 also 3 plus j4 and z3 also 3 plus j4 so magnitude all are equal so magnitude of all the impedances will be equal z2 equals to z3 mod of z1 equals to mod of z2 equals to mod of z3 and the phase angle theta equals to theta 1 equals to theta 2 equals to theta 3 and this magnitude can be calculated with with this formula under root of this real part square plus imaginary part square this is called as real part this is called as imaginary part imaginary part is associated with this operator j operator 3 square plus 4 square okay and we will get this 5 answer 5 ohm so all the impedances having this same magnitude first condition is satisfied let's see second condition we have this tan inverse of imaginary part 4 divided by 3 this 4 divided by 3 and we will get something 36.86 or 53.13 degree okay and also the second condition is satisfied because this theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 are same so this is called as three phase balanced delta loop okay if one condition is not satisfied suppose z1 equals to z2 but we have here instead of this plus if we have this minus then what will happen the first condition is satisfied all the all the 
magnitudes are same but the phase angle is phase angle of this in this case theta 1 equals to theta 2 because these two are same but not equal to theta 3 because here negative sign is there so angle will be negative for theta 3 so in that case we will call the load as three phase unbalanced delta load okay this is difference between balanced and unbalanced load okay this is all about the types of load and the supply three phase supply in the next session we will see what is mean by line voltage phase voltage and phase current and line current so till then stay tuned and keep learning thank you